mother of salvation. Many will believe the Antichrist to be a very holy man. Friday, February 7, 2014 at 3.50 p.m. My child, were my son, Jesus Christ, to walk the earth at this time, he would be assassinated. No official in his church would accept him. He would become a laughing stock, then feared and so despised that they would have him crucified, just as before. This time my son comes in spirit only and by the command of my father, he will not appear on earth as a man, in the flesh. I urge that this message is made clear to all, for many will come in his name, but one of them will rise to prominence and say that he is my son, but this will be a lie. The Antichrist will rise and become so powerful that his image will be seen everywhere. Statues will be erected in his image and his face will appear constantly on news and television screens around the world. He will be applauded by the most powerful leaders, but it won't be until he is openly welcomed and then endorsed by the false prophet that he will truly exert his influence over humanity. Were my son to make himself known in the flesh again and command attention, they would destroy him. The Antichrist will, however, be welcomed into the world and be mistaken for Jesus Christ. Every word contained in the Bible, regarding the second coming of my son, will be adapted and twisted, in order to convince the world that they are witnessing the return of Jesus Christ. The enemies of my son, who mingle with those innocent servants of his in my son's churches everywhere, will be led into grave error. Their leaders will embrace the Antichrist and encourage souls to idolize him. His influence will shock many who remain faithful to God and it is important that you safeguard your souls against his hypnotic appeal. The medal of salvation, when carried upon your person, will, along with the other graces it promises, safeguard you against the power of the Antichrist. Make no mistake, the Antichrist will enthrall many and he will be seen as the most powerful, popular, charismatic and influential leader of all time. Many will believe the Antichrist to be a very holy man and, because of his links to my son's church, people in their millions will convert to what they will believe to be the truth. This false exterior of holiness will bring tears of joy to all those who have had no faith in their lives up to then, nor belief in God. They will lavish praise upon this man and give him the credit for saving their souls. At first, the Antichrist will be seen as a great leader with an appealing, charming and lovable allure. Then in time, he will start to exhibit healing powers and many people will come forward and claim to be healed by him. Many will also claim to witness miracles in his presence. Then a series of false apparitions, in which the image of the sign of the Holy Spirit will be seen, will appear everywhere. The media will create a godlike image of him and very few will dare to publicly rebuke him. Because of his command of many languages, he will fool millions in a very short period of time. Then, the rumors that Jesus Christ has come back a second time, will begin. These will be fueled by those who will work tirelessly for the Antichrist by spreading lies, until eventually he will be mistaken for my son. All of these events sound far-fetched now, but when they all unravel before you, it will seem like a natural series of events, which will be seen by many as uplifting. Then, just as every evil falsity is presented to the world back to front by Satan the Antichrist, through satanic rituals, will be seen to ascend into heaven. My son, on his return, will be seen descending upon the clouds, the reverse of when he ascended into heaven, just as he promised. 
Then, the Antichrist and all those who slavishly adored him will be thrown into the lake of fire and peace will be yours, dear children. For all those who remain loyal to the truth, they will, in the blink of an eye, be raised into the new paradise, when heaven and earth become one. Your beloved mother, mother of salvation.